This simulation is a little different from the others. Instead of sliders, you'll see we have an interaction diagram at the top. This diagram is intended to help students new to physics learn how different objects interact with one another through forces. For example, the cannonball and the cannon are linked to one another by the thrust force. Looking at the drawing at the bottom, you'll see that the cannonball is feeling a leftward thrust force from the cannon. But you'll also see that the cannon feels a reaction force that acts rightward. These two forces are known as a third law pair. They act on two different objects, the cannonball and the cannon. They are both the same type of force, in this case thrust. And they act in opposite directions, leftward on the ball and rightward on the cannon. Isaac Newton claimed that all forces come in a pair just like this. Let's explore some different force pairs. As we know, an upward normal force acts on the cannon. This is what supports it against the gravitational pull of the Earth. The deck provides this upward normal force. How do we identify the third law pair force to this upward normal force? Well, we know it must act on another object, and it must be of the same type. That is, it must be a normal force. And it must point downward, in the opposite direction to the upward normal force on the cannon. The third law pair force is, in fact, a downward normal force acting on the deck. The cannon pushes down on the deck with the same strength force as the deck pushes up on the cannon. A very common mistake many introductory students make is to think that the gravitational force acting on the cannon is the third law pair force, the reaction force, to the normal force exerted on it. Although the gravitational force acting on the cannon is equal and opposite to the normal force acting on it, it doesn't satisfy the other requirements of the pair force rule namely that it acts on a different object and is of the same type. So what is the third law of pair force to the downward gravitational force acting on the cannon? In fact, it is the upward gravitational force acting on the Earth. The Earth and the cannon are both pulling on each other with the same strength force of gravity. Viewed in this way, we can think of all forces conceptually as lines attaching two objects on an interaction diagram. Each of the objects connected by a force experience the same force, just in different directions. What makes the world interesting is that objects can be in force pair relationships with many different other objects at once. If we click on the cannon, we can see all the different forces acting on it. It feels a rightward thrust force, an upward normal force, a downward gravitational force, and a leftward friction force between the wheels and the deck. There is no requirement that all four of these forces must each cancel each other. None of them is a third law pair. This means the cannon can be out of equilibrium and might accelerate in some direction. In fact, when the cannon fires, we'd expect it to recoil rightward because the thrust force might exceed the frictional force. Interaction diagrams are most useful when approaching physics problems that involve more than one object. They help you sort out all the third law force pairs so you can get at all the forces acting on each of the objects in question. Though at first counterintuitive and a bit confusing, seeing the world in this new way as a collection of force pairs acting between every object in the universe is ultimately the most useful and correct way to view forces.